Hi, welcome to another hands-on session on Amazon Web Services. I'm Yafra Khan from Skill Curve, and in this lab, we will have a walkthrough of Code Pipeline in the AWS. AWS Code Pipeline is a continuous delivery service to model, visualize, and automate the steps required to release your software. It helps you model and configure the different stages of the software release process. There are multiple stages that come under the Code Pipeline. First thing we have in the code pipeline is the source, which is the code commit in AWS. Code commit provides us the source and version control for our code. Next, we have the code build, which deals with the build and test phases in the CI CD environment. Code build is an automated build service which compiles the source code and comes under the build and. Finally, we have code deploy for the deploy phase in CI CD. Code Deploy provides us with automated deployment, so it automates the code deployments and that works with any instance or server type. This whole process is orchestrated by Code Pipeline. The prerequisite for this lab is to have Git installed and configured on your local machine. Now the first step is to get an IAM policy for the Code Pipeline and generate the HTTPS Git credentials for the Code Commit repository. So for that, we'll go to IAM. So from here, we'll go to the users. We already have a user with required credentials, so we'll click on that. So we've already associated the code pipeline access policies with this user. So we can see in the permissions that we have the full admin access. Now we'll go to the HTTP grip credentials for AWS code commit section and here we'll click on generate credentials. This will generate credentials for us to connect our local gate command line to the AWS code commit repository. So from here we'll download the credentials and save it on a local machine which we'll use later. So if you open this file you can see our username and password that has been generated. Now our next step will be to create a repository inside a code commit. So we'll go to code commit from the search bar. So the website that we want to upload to the code commit repository has already been downloaded here. These are the contents of the website. We'll search for code commit. So here we'll create a new repository. Click on create repository. This repository will serve as a source code for our AWS code pipeline. We give this repository a name and a description. Click on create. So repository has been successfully created. So here we are given guideline for several options. So for cloning this repository to the gate on our local machine, we need to clone the URL. Click here and then choose clone HTTPS. So repository has been cloned. We will first click an empty folder to upload our content. We we'll call this sample. Now we will open the git command line. We will cd to our new folder. And then we'll write the command git clone and then paste the cloned URL over here. So our repository is being cloned. Here we'll provide the credentials which were generated from the IAM. Paste the username and then the password. So now our repository has been so over here we have our sample web app contents. We'll copy and paste these to our repository and we'll cd to our web app folder. Now we'll check the git status. So here we can see our contents of the web application. But these are not tracked so they are red and there are no commits. So first we'll use git add minus a and then we'll again input the command git status. 
So now we can see that the contents are green which means that they are tracked. But we still need to commit the changes. So for that we will write the command git commit minus m and then the message uploading the contents. So now our changes have been committed. Next thing we need to do is to push our code inside our code repository of the code commit. So we'll write get push. So now our code has been pushed to the code commit repository and we can see all the details. So to verify, we'll go to code commit repositories and then choose our repository. So here we can see the web app contents. Next we need to do is to create an EC2 instance and for creating an EC2 instance for the code deploy we need to input this user code. So this includes some commands. Now we'll head to EC2 and here we'll launch a new instance. First we need to give the instance a name. We'll call this code pipeline instance. Next we need to choose the Amazon machine image. We'll choose Amazon Linux. Then we are selecting Amazon Linux version. The architecture will be 64 bit. Then the instance type is t2.micro. Then we need to select a key pair name which is already present inside our AWS console. We'll choose this SC key pair which is auto generated. Then we have the firewall security groups option. We leave this as default. At the end we have the advanced details, we'll extend this and when we scroll down we can see the user data option. Here we'll paste the commands that we saw, then we'll launch the instance. So our instance is being launched. Now our instance has been successfully created. Now we are ready to create a code pipeline but first we need to go to code deploy to create a deploy application and the deployment group. We will head to code deploy. We will go to the applications from the left vertical menu and we will click on create application. We will give the application a name. We will call this sample app. Then we'll choose the compute platform which will be EC2 slash on-premises. Click on create application. So application has been created. Now we need to create a deployment group. Click on create deployment group. Here we'll give deployment group a name. We'll call this sample group. Then we need to choose a service role. We already have a service role named Code Deploy My Web App. So we'll choose that. The deployment type will be in place. And in the environment configuration, we need to choose Amazon EC2 instances. Then we have the key and value pair. We will input the name in the key. And the value will be our instance. We leave rest of the settings as default. We'll uncheck the load balancing and we'll click on create deployment group. So our deployment group has successfully been created. So now we're ready to create our code pipeline. So from the left menu we'll go to pipelines. And here we'll create pipeline. 
we'll give this pipeline a name which will be sample pipeline and we are creating a new service role for this pipeline which is auto generated and then we'll click on next so this is the first stage of our code pipeline which is the source stage so in the source provider we'll select code commit as our source provider so here we'll choose our repository's name which is sample web app and then the branch will be master rest of the settings will remain the same and we click on next so the build stage is optional so we'll leave it for now we'll click on skip build stage the next stage is deploy so first we need to provide the deploy provider which will be AWS code deploy so we need to choose the region and then the application name that we created in the code deploy so the name was sample app so we need to choose the deployment group that we created click on next now review the settings of the code pipeline so we can see all of the stages settings over here click on create pipeline so our pipeline has been created now our stages of the pipeline are in progress so we first have the source stage then the deploy stage so our source stage has been successfully executed and the deploy stage is currently in progress. Our deploy stage has also been succeeded. Now to verify that our code has been deployed successfully, we need to go to the EC2 instance where our code will be deployed. So we'll go to the instance and over here we have the public IPv address. So if we copy this address and paste it in our browser. Okay, so over here we can see our application successfully deployed. In this lab, we went through the complete process of creating an AWS pipeline. We used a sample web app as code. We went through the process of creating a repository inside our code commit. And then we deployed the application with the help of AWS code pipeline. I hope it was helpful in getting you started with this concept. If you have any queries, feel free to mention in the comment section. Thank you and have a nice day.